You can use the pads used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Turn off your vehicle's ignition. Set the parking brake. Pull the hood release handle and open the hood. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Lift the front of your vehicle. We strongly suggest watching our video on how to jack your Ford F-150 safely before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. In order to change the brake pads on your vehicle, you will need to take off the wheels to have full access. Don't forget to put the wheels under the vehicle. Turn the disc inward. This will make it easier for you. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the outer opening of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will cause the pistons to react slightly so that the caliper can be removed more easily for the next manipulations. With a socket wrench and a 13 mm socket, unscrew the lower slide pin. Then remove it. Repeat this process with the upper slide pin. You can now remove the brake caliper and place it on the wheel knuckle. You can attach it to the upper control arm with a clamp or a wire. Remove the pads. To do this, slide them away from the disc. Hey, it's Alex from carparts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the anti-rattle clips. Carparts.com also recommends replacing the anti-rattle clips with new ones. Get hold of the anti-rattle clips supplied in the kit. And brushing the caliper mount around the pads to remove any extra rust that could prevent the pads from sliding. Depending on the state of corrosion, we even recommend using a file to restore the original shape. You need to check the sliding of the brake caliper slide pins and the condition of the caliper slide pin boots. If they look worn, you are advised to replace them with new ones. Place the new anti-rattle clips on the caliper mount. You can order the pads kit used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Grab the new pads and lightly coat the ends with copper grease to help them slide more easily. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount by sliding them in. You can purchase the parts we used here by visiting our website at carparts.com. Detach the caliper. Place a used pad in the caliper. Then using a clamp or brake windback tool, press the pistons into the caliper. This step is essential before installing the new pads. As the pistons enter the caliper, brake fluid will flow back into the brake fluid reservoir. Depending on the original level of the reservoir, make sure that the liquid does not overflow. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw it in the caliper slide pins, by hand at first. You can use a 17mm spanner to prevent the bolts from rotating. Screw them in using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket.
Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Clean both sides of the disc with brake cleaner and a cloth to remove the grease from the new pads. You can now repeat the same process on the other side. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and block the wheels properly. Don't forget to screw the brake fluid cap back on before starting the car. Attention! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to push the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 30 miles or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed.